Welcome to Tiam KL Chemistry Channel. Uh, for this question, uh, it's better for you to uh, construct the head cycle. Um, okay, so first the statement is um, delta HF okay, of PCL3 and PCL5, they are both exothermic. And uh, the delta HR is given, which is the formation, uh, sorry, which is the uh, PCL3 okay, with chlorine to form PCL5. But this is not formation, uh, not really uh, formations, uh, because formations, it must involve uh, elements. Okay, so we uh, need to use the elements to form the PCL3 and PCL5. The elements that needed is phosphorus and chlorine. So we just put the phosphorus and chlorine to link uh, the reactants and the products. Okay, so first we start with this part. This part. This is the delta HR, the reaction itself. Okay, then we try to put the phosphorus and the chlorine to link these reactants and the products together. So the P and the Cl2, okay, they can react and form PCL3. So therefore, this is delta HF for PCL3. And the P and Cl2 also can form PCL5. Right, so it's go down further. So this will be the delta HF of PCL5. Okay, so from here, it's very clear that we know okay for the first statement the delta hr is less negative than delta hf of pcl5 okay because here is just negative one two four this is more enthalpy value is greater right it's more exo that's why i answer it just can be a or c and for the statement two, the A, yeah, the chlorine bond energy is needed to calculate delta HR. No, not necessary. We no need to use any bond energies because the delta HF of PCL3 and delta HF of PCL5 is enough to get the delta HR. So therefore, answer is C. Okay, that's all. Thank you.